Right now, I'm going to see what we are cooking in the kitchen. It sure does smell good. Yeah, Cheryl's going to make us something awesome. She mentioned that it is Mardi Gras, so you wanted to kind of do something with the Mardi Gras theme. What are we going to make today, Cheryl? Crawfish bisque. It's the biggest selling thing in our shop. <laughs> all right. Yeah, and, we... and your shop, of course, is Cheryl's Cafe. Tell the folks all about it. Um, it's in Spanish Fort. We've been there 15 years, since 1998. Mm -hmm. And we're just lunch Monday through Friday and catering. Lunch Monday through Friday and catering. So if you're looking for a great place for lunch today after the show, go swing through and check out Cheryl's. All right, so what do we need to okay. do to get started? We're going to start with a stick of real butter, no margarine. I like to use real butter Me too. too. Yeah. I like to use real foods. Um, and then we're going to melt that a little bit. Okay, I'll turn it, turn it up a little up bit a for tad. you. And yep. then we have a chopped, uh, medium chopped onion mm -hmm. and a cup of celery, diced celery. And then we're going to sweat that down a little bit, mm -hmm. and then we'll press in our garlic. Okay. And, or you can chop it or press it in, because it'll burn quicker. So. Yeah, so. I love having that garlic flavoring in oh, there, yeah. though. Garlic's one of my favorite ingredients. Now, you brought a Mine few other too. things to show us this morning. We've got some dishes out here. Tell us, is this kind of what you see if you come to Cheryl's Cafe? Exactly. Uh, right. We have... Uh, usually a beef, a pork, a chicken, a fish. Like uh, we have a grilled salmon with a Parmesan chive butter, a shrimp salad with a on an avocado, and then we have you know like 15 vegetables every day. Every so, single mm -hmm. day. So if you want something fresh and delicious, you can stop on in at Cheryl's right. Cafe. So we're gonna let this sweat down, like you said, and right. then when we come back in a little while, what are we gonna get started then? Well, then we're going to add the broth, which okay. normally we make our own broth, but I just bought this for convenience today. But just sure. remember that broth, these packaged broths have salt, even the lower salt ones. Uh. So you want to, you know, adjust your salt with that. So then we're going to cook that down. And then in the end, we're going to thicken it with some heavy cream and cornstarch. When do we add the crawfish? At the very end, because the crawfish are already cooked. Yeah. And so... Um, we're just going to chop them and add them in at the very end because you don't want to, you know, I just overcook want, I just them. wanted to ask because I'm anxious to try it. Right, I'll, right. I yeah. want to get to that It'll be point. ready for you guys to try it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, sounds good. So we'll check back in in just a little while, start adding the broth and all that good stuff, Cherish. Also looking fantastic, what we have going on in the kitchen with Cheryl and Cherish. And smelling good, too. Yeah, Cheryl Barnes from Cheryl's Cafe is here making some crawfish bisque. Crawfish bisque just hits the spot. I mean, it's always good if it's cold outside, but this is something that is so filling. It's good yeah. when it's warm, too. It's good. This is one of your specials every day. You have two soup specials every day. This one's on the menu. What else do you have every today? Day. Yeah, we always have the bisque because it's our most popular soup, but we also have vegetable soup today. Okay, so we you always go have lunch. something different. Yeah. Lunch today, and you, you're open Monday through Friday uh -huh. for Love lunch. 11 to 2.30, okay. and we also do a lot of catering. Catering right. anytime. Catering anytime. Just, just right. call. Right. That's okay. right. So let's make this bisque because we want to let you know how you can make it at home, and this recipe is on fox10tv.com on our Studio 10 page. We're at the point where we're going to add some garlic. Right. We already sweated down our onions and celery and the real butter, and we're adding our chopped garlic, like five pies. or, um, And then we're, we want to brown that just a little bit. But and since we're on TV, we can go ahead because the garlic's going to soften up in there anyway. This is a big pot. About how many people yeah. is this going to feed? Probably about 20 cups. So Whoa. if you're going to go tailgating or something, and it's a perfect thing, you know, when you're warm, to keep yeah. warm at Mardi Gras. So. And enough to go around. Right. No one will be yeah. unhappy. Right. So next we have some chicken broth. Right. At the shop, I make my own broth, but I didn't. I just brought this today. But um, we're going to put three quarts of broth, and we're going to uh, bring that to to boil, okay. but if you know if you're a vegetarian or something, you could use seafood broth. Okay, vegetable, anything that you want. Or vegetable broth. I mean, you well, well, yeah. Now, Cheryl, I read on your website that you wanted you you just dreamed of starting a cafe that specializes in southern home cooking forever, really. So I want to right. know what started that dream. Well, I've worked in the restaurant business all my life uh, as a server. I worked at the Oyster House on the Causeway for six years, and I nice. loved it there, but I wanted to do my own thing. And my dad helped me and just opened my little shop. I just wanted to keep it small. At that time, I was a stay-at-home mom, so I was tired of working at night. Uh -huh. I mean, not a stay-at-home mom, a single mom. And uh -huh. so I needed to be home with my teenagers at night. So yeah. I just started the lunch thing and to make extra money doing the catering. and. 15 years later, we're doing great. 
15 so, years. That's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. So good to hear. And obviously, it's because you have food that smells like this. This yeah. smells so yummy. I know it's going to taste good. I can't wait to taste it. So at this point, now that you've added the broth, what do we need to do? Um, we're going to bring that to a boil. So we can turn this way up. Okay. And then we're going to take this cream, heavy cream, heavy whipping cream. You can find it anywhere. And this yeah. is a quart. And you want to mix your uh, cornstarch in with something, you know, with the cream while it's cold. Because if you put it in the hot pot, it'll just lump all up. Oh, yeah, so, that's no good. Yeah. So we're going to put that in there, and we're going to whisk that up and get the lumps out. And we can put our Tony's in there too. You could use any kind of Creole seasoning you want. And remember, Tony's is mostly salt, salt and pepper, so you're not going to add any other salt and pepper. So I've got three tablespoons of Tony's. Of course, it's crawfish bisque, so it's supposed to be a little spicy. Oh, of course. Yeah. Got to have some spice in there. Right. So we're going to let you keep stirring. Again, you can get this recipe, make this at home. It's on our Studio 10 page on fox10tv.com. You can also go by Cheryl's Cafe and Market. It's in Spanish Fort. We have the address on fox10tv.com as well. Open for lunch Monday through Friday, 11 to 2.30. Right. That's it. Check her out. Thank you. Back in the kitchen with Cheryl Barnes from Cheryl's Cafe working on some delicious crawfish bisque. Where are we at in the process, Cheryl? We're almost done, so it shouldn't take but another minute. We're going to thicken this up with some heavy cream and the cornstarch I told yeah. you about. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get all the lumps out, and then we're going to put that in there. That heavy and cream you keep makes stirring, so Joe. Good. This is one of the things that you have to keep, stay with it because it will easily scorch. Mm -hmm. So. You always want to keep stirring it. You have to keep and giving then, it some love. Right. And this crawfish has a lot of good fat in it, crawfish fat. So we want to make sure we get all that in there. Yeah, get This that isn't extra exactly a low cal cal calorie deal, <laughs> but you know, it is Mardi Gras. Feast yeah. before the fast. So. Ex exactly. <laughs> exactly. I mean, they do call it Fat Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. And it's delicious as well. And so I chop, you can put the crawfish in whole if you want. It seems to make, I like it chopped up in there. So we're going to chop these crawfish. Mm -hmm. Ooh, those look good. And remind the folks if they have missed the beginning of the show where you're located in case they want to come check you out. Yeah, I am in the old part of Spanish Ford across the street from the old post office uh, in the same parking lot as the Rite Aid in a white stucco little strip center. Sure. I've been there 15 years. 15 years and still going strong, making some down home southern goodness That's for the right. people. That's right. As demonstrated this morning on Studio 10. So we've got that all chopped up. Once we add it in, is that pretty much good to go then? Yep. That's it. We're going to put the crawfish in. Then what, all you have to do is get these warm because they're or hot. They're already cooked. Mm -hmm. I don't want to splatter it on you, but that's I'm okay. I'll stand back. Yeah, like this. stand back. <laughs> I'll just be ready like this. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, so we're going to continue yeah. to stir that. It's going to warm up, and then we'll... Then put, we're going to feed everybody. Yeah, here. we'll feed everybody. We'll put a bowl out there for you to see the finished product, but it looks so good. Mm -hmm. Go check out Cheryl mm -hmm. in Spanish Fort. Yeah, you can see the finished product right here. What am mm -hmm. I talking about? Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> looks so good. Open for lunch. Monday through Friday, 11 to 2.30, and catering anytime. Catering anytime. All right, thanks a lot. Cheryl, we'll be right back with more Studio 10 after this. Thanks.